Hello everyone, welcome back. Now you got the idea that we may have other methods to check this one. So for method 3 I'm not gonna explain it. You can go by yourself. Method 3 is what? Checking finding A. So you'll find atomic weight. You'll find atomic weight and you'll compare it with a given atomic weight here. So you're gonna assume it's BCC, FCC. Again it's still assumption, still assumption called assumption you assume it's BCC you find the atomic weight you assume it's BCC you find atomic weight then you compare it to atomic weight that you have it you're gonna find it now the three methods that I explained all of them based on the assumption so do we have another thing that we can use it without assumption that's the fourth one but it required some knowledge before pre knowledge we call it now for this one what we will do what will we do we will calculate n over vc n over vc for the crystal structure that we have it now this is a pre so method four I'm not gonna explain until i'll leave it for you to go for yourself method four now let's see if we if it's not taking time we can do it so we will see for bcc we will calculate n over vc well n is 4 vc that's going to be a cube yes and a cube will be 4 over root 3 r cube now let's calculate this one as r cube as r cube Oh, we have R as well. We have R. We can calculate it here to see how much it will be. So R, we have it here. We're going to change R to... I mean, we can calculate this one as centimeter. So R will be 0.1345 times 10 to the power minus 7. And since you're cubing everything here, keeping everything then you can get this ratio let me calculate it to see sorry this is n is equal to 2 my mistake my mistake n here is equal to 2 this is bcc bcc so we're going to calculate this ratio to see what is it 4 over root 3 times 0.1345 we'll cube it as a and then 2 divided by this answer we're gonna get a number here 6.67 10 to power 22 If this is FCC, if it's FCC, we can still calculate N over VC. There are some other ways they say that you can leave the R out of it. It will be as a, as a function of R. But I'll calculate it as a number. 4 over 2 root 2 R all over the cube. From here, if you calculate the same thing, we'll get this different answer. 4 divided by 2, root 2. We're going to get 5.8123, 10 to the power 23. Sorry, this is not minus. This is not minus. This is positive, and it's point twenty-two. Now we have those two value. We're going to calculate n over vc. N over vc. So n over vc. If I rearrange the equation for n over vc, we'll go as rho over n a times a. So this one take it there. Take it there, it will be rho times n a over a. So density times 
n a over a well calculate this one density we have a 12.41 times n a 6.022 10 to power 23 over the atomic weight which we know it so 12.41 times 6.022 10 to power 23 divided by 102.9055 we get an answer a mistake somewhere 12.41 6.022 10 to power 23 divided by 102.9055. I made a mistake maybe within here, so recalculate again. This is 6. Point, sorry, 7.26229 10 to power 22. Let me recheck this one to see if this value here is correct. We have 2 root 2 Yes, that was a mistake there. So 7.26537 And this is a bit close it's not gonna exactly end end up but it's something close numbers close numbers here then there's another way that you can see if it is Christ directly you'll find this one and since you know for BCC FCC the numbers you say okay this is FCC crystal structure that's another way to do I prefer the first one or the second one first or the second one third one also possible which is finding the atomic weight this is also possible now why this is preferable sometime if you have basically if you do it on a computer base those numbers all of them will come at least very accurately to each other the base of this one what if you have a load of a load of crystal structure you only calculate n over vc for them n over vc for them then you will find n over vc for your case and it will be close to one of the one that you have it and you directly see FCC but imagine that you have four crystal structure and you want to do it what assumption you have to run all of them the four assumption you know find it but here it's only all like it's preferable for that case you will just find n over VC for the four of them and then you will run one time and n over VC for your case will be close to one of the case that you have it you directly find the a, a crystal structure so this will end the, the calculation for density calculation density of metal theoretical density we have three type of calculation one we can just simply find the theoretical density the second one we can find the relation related to the crystal structure or the AR volume in the third one we can find the crystal structure based on the knowledge of density, radius, and atomic weight. With the four methods, which one you can use it, it doesn't matter. All of them end up the same result. Which one you prefer, try them at home according to the way that you calculate things to see which one can give you a close, closer result to the known knowledge of the crystal structure. Remember, some students, because of their calculation, they may not end up exactly close to the one that I find it. So I need you to try it by yourself to see which one you prefer. Use that one. That will be acceptable. Thanks for listening.